Yes. Oh, look at that. See, preparation. Oh, <laughs> Well, hello and welcome back to another vlog. Firstly, apologies. I kind of left you a bit abruptly in the last one. I was hacking out in room, chatting about our 2020 plans and boom, disappeared just like that. So yeah, apologies. Um, but welcome back to today. Plans for today. Well, there isn't really much of a plan to be honest. Um, the only plan is, is I need to be in Portsmouth later. It's my friend's birthday. So gonna head down there and celebrate tonight. But before that, we're gonna pop up to her pony, give him a pat, maybe give him a sit, a little ride, something like that. Um, we shall see. But other than that, it's just a normal Sunday. I need to head over to the ponies. It is, it's five to 10. So yeah, a little bit later than planned, but hey ho, they'll survive. I'm sure they're enjoying a Sunday line just as much as the rest of us. I got back from Boston yesterday, so I was a bit hanging today, so haven't quite made it out of bed as early as I'd have liked, but whatever. We are gonna head there now. Need to grab my coat and hit the road. Right, I have arrived and I'm attempting to soften the blow with a couple of apples. Let's see how peed off they are. Ponies! Hello! Hey, there you go. Hi, Wim Wim! Hello, Rim Rim. Sorry for being a bit rubbish this morning, Rem Rem. Yeah, have a treat. Do you forgive me? Mm. <laughs> that noise. Good boy. I tell you what, mucking out Remy is a workout. It, one of him is like doing a whole yard of 10. He is disgusting. We're on straw, he's been on a variety of different beddings before, but we always go back to straw because it's the cheapest and it's so easy to get hold of because we can get it straight from the farm. But yeah, knackered. Whew. <laughs> Okay, we are finito, done for now. I'm gonna go and ride and then leave this to dry, hopefully, um, and then tackle the rest later. But firstly, I need to tackle your bed, don't I, short stuff? Luckily, you're a bit more agreeable, as in, it's like rocking out a hamster. You're so tidy. Oh, please be nice. Please be nice. How hard. fully clipped I forget how easy it is to groom you yeah oh my goodness hi <laughs> please don't bite my fingers oh what a difference eh what a difference yeah right let's get on let's tack you up and get going shall we oh first things first I need to do your feet yes so I have no shame in admitting that I'm a bit slack when it comes to hoof care but this year I've determined to keep a bit more on top of it and we have been loving the Hawkins Organic Best Hoof Forward. It's like a hoof gel. So yeah, let's give it an apply now. So the plan for today is we're going to do a jumping exercise. Back in December we went to the Ben Hobb Day Live the Dream Tour, um, which was really informative, very interesting, oh sorry. <laughs> um, so we'll do our adapted version of that. We're going to go for a spin around the block first, 
to warm up and we'll do the same again to cool down. Obviously I'm flying solo today, so there won't be anyone to take vids, but we did do the exercise a few weeks back, so rewind two weeks and here's how we got on. So I have tried to recreate an exercise I saw last night at Ben Hobb Day. It was kind of four jumps um, going across from the corners. Um, our arena was a lot smaller than Marist Wood, naturally. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to play out, but we'll have some fun, whatever. I'm over here, you gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not. There is a moment meant for us. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shut up. That much better. Yeah. Right, now we're going to put them up into straights. Well, we've had a little play around with the uh, the diamond or the square, whatever you want to call it. Is it a diamond? I think it's a diamond. Um, and now we're going to pop in, pop in a little exercise that incorporates turns and things like that. Uh, preparation. Apparently that is what we're lacking this morning. Um, yeah, turning a bit too late, coming off the wall, yeah, far too late, and then literally showing it to him and asking him to jump from half a stride out is not the one. Um, I think by the end, I say we got it, it's actually me. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'd canter. Preparation. <laughs> yes. Boy. How good was that? See, preparation. Oh, Don't your heart out. <laughs> good boy. Got a gypsy cob. See, you can do it. That was good. So now we need to do one the other way. This is a circle. Uh, could probably do. Um, I do the blue and the blue, yeah? Yeah. The red and the red and the blue. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh shit. She missed it. She missed it. Go straight into it. Sack the jockey. Sorry, Rem Rem. Sack that fail. Just well up for it as well. at the last minute then it's just lack of preparation he went to go for it and you're I like no myself <laughs> someone's clearly not 
sharp enough, eh? Right, stop. You know, Third time lucky. Turn. See, can do it. Boy. It's amazing what you can do when you actually gauge your frame. Good boy. Okay, yeah, it was quite tight to the wing, yeah. but you still got over it. Yeah. Yeah, that one didn't feel as smooth as the first one. Um, but I think it's quite tight mechanic coming off that corner. Yeah, you don't like that corner. No. Right, let's have a go at some angle jumping, and then we can end it. Perfect. Bad. Much better. Going into black. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to be out then. <laughs> only a bubba she's not done much jumping um we've done a bit with her haven't we but not a great deal and she's mainly done lots of hacking hasn't she she's a pro hacker um but today we're going to introduce her to her very first grid we've just set up well there's just one jump at the moment but we're going to end up doing three so see what she thinks of that and also introduce her to her very first oxer No problem. <laughs> Ooh, <I'm straight. laughs> she says, I know what I'm doing. Girly. Go the other way. Useless move, why not? Ooh. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> I lost my stirrup. Just, I just don't like the coming on balance. No trouble at all. Isn't she a babe? She's Have okay. Done All done, and he was an exceptionally good boy. It's nice to see that each time we're doing this exercise, he makes us a little improvement each time. Um, but it's a fun one. I think the biggest thing I picked up from when we went and saw Ben Hob Day was he said, at home, it's all about making it that little bit difficult. So you make mistakes. So you put yourselves in uncomfortable situations at home so that hopefully when you get to the competition, things don't feel quite so uncomfortable, I guess. Um, but yeah, we've definitely been pushing ourselves out of the comfort zone and it seems to be doing the trick. It's a really fun one. Now we're just having a quick spin down the roads just to stretch it all out and yeah, work off any. Oh, what's around the corner? Okay, we're gonna spook. <laughs> Flip flop, eh, hey, ram ram. Never gets boring. Murky old day though, as always. It always seems to be just horribly murky at the moment. Oh well, maybe it'll brighten up tomorrow. Hmm. Another thing I've been trying to keep on top of this winter is the patch in Remy's mane. He has had a missing patch of mane there for as long as I can remember. Now I know it's because he wears neck rugs, um, but the second worst thing next to having no mane is having a filthy coloured pony. 
he'd just get caked and I'd spend all the time I have, all the spare time I had, grooming him. And I'm just not prepared to do that. So neck rugs it is, but there are two things we've been using this winter to kind of combat that. The first is the main event um, by Well Gel. Now I have used this for a while, but I've kind of just been applying it ad hoc really, as and when, but this winter I have religiously been putting it all over liberally on his um, patch of mane and it seems to be doing the trick. This is the most he's had here in a long time. Soon it will be long enough for a plat. And the second thing I have been using and loving is this No Head Turnout Hood by Horse Hoods. So yeah, he still wears a full neck rug on top of this. And so far, fingers crossed, it's really been keeping the rubbing at bay. So the reason why we opt for a no head as opposed to a full head, I know you can get the ones with a full head, is just safety really. Um, he's had a full, full face one on in the field before and ended up with it over his eyes and he had the biggest, most swollen eyes. So yeah, just, I don't know, it's my own personal thing. I liked them to have no face in the field. Stable is fine, but there's too many branches and fences out there for them to get caught on. So this does the job perfectly. What I like about this one is, is it's not too thick. It's just light for a material. Um, he can get quite hot, he's a hot horse. So this is perfect for him. Oh yeah. And that is the brand. Right, enough chit chat. Let's actually go and get these ponies out in the field. They're on a mission. They're ready to go out. And you move. Are you ready? Yeah? Slow coach Rem. He's always at the back. Bye. Go and enjoy the muddy field. Oh gosh. I am a teeny tiny bit behind schedule, just a little bit, um, but I'm all done and I'm about to hit the road and head to Portsmouth. Luckily, we're going straight to the horse first. Well, at least I hope we're going straight to the horse first because I do not have time to go home and get changed and I currently look like this. I look disgusting, but hopefully Jen won't mind. But anyway, that's enough chat for now. I need to hit the road and get going. Snacks are needed, so here we go. Across the drive through this is new. When is it no longer acceptable to have Christmas stuff because I've been given a Christmas cup. This, this will teach me for not bringing my, um, my recyclable, recyclable, reusable mug. Are you gonna do anything naughty? You're lying all over your sister. Sister's like me and my sister. Me? Fighting. Oh, Aw, do you think they're... <laughs> Kitties. Oscar. Which one's Oscar, Edward? I'd like to see you, friend. Say hello. Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Good to see Hello. You. Oh, and who's, is he your mummy's horse? Yeah, and my horse. Oh, he's your horse as well, is he? Yeah, he's eating something. He's a sniffing bot. Sniffing? He wants to give you a kiss. Oh. He loves being stroked. Does he? Yeah. You like being stroked? Oh. Hey. I, I want to stroke her. Oh, he's going to tell his neighbour off. Pretty. Edward? Yeah. Are you going to ride Oscar? Yeah. Yeah? You are. What's yeah. he like to ride? Uh, when you try to get on him, <laughs> he sometimes runs away. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, gosh. So. Will some, he be good for me? Yeah, because sometimes when he sees new people, he loves to see what they're like when, oh. they, when they get on him. Because if, <laughs> cause, cause if they have a too big bump for Oscar, they just, he just <laughs> run away like this. <laughs> right, so that fills me with a lot of confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar doesn't look impressed. <laughs> Neither does Edward after getting mud in his eye. No. <laughs> How's your eye now, Edward? Uh, a little bit better. Oh, thank goodness. 
my goodness. But it's still in, but oh. a little bit better. Oh. Now, I wasn't going to vlog anything today, but we had some incredibly exciting news last night, which I'm absolutely buzzed about. Unfortunately, I don't have Remy here to share it with me. I've just got the greedy Shetland who's mugging me for treats. Aren't you hard? Yeah. Yeah. Should we tell everyone our news? Yeah. So we had some exciting news last night. I applied and entered us into a sponsorship competition with Porter Dressage to Music. And we were chosen. We are going to be sponsored riders for the year, which is incredibly exciting. It means we get ourselves a freestyle track. So, yeah. So it looks like we'll be doing some dancing this year. Um, not sure how it's going to go. We've only done freestyle once and it didn't exactly go to plan. It almost ended up with him bolting out of the arena and I gracefully had to retire. But that was a few years ago now. We've come a fair way since then. So, yeah. Let's just see how we get on. I'm really excited and I'm absolutely buzzing. And you're buzzing too, aren't you, Hard? Yeah. You would love to do some dressage music, wouldn't you? Unfortunately, I would squash him. But yeah, that is all for now. And until next time, who knows when, when that will be. We've got BD in a couple of weeks, so it'll probably be then, unless we do anything interesting next weekend. But yeah, bye. We don't need the past that'll last for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, but we'll sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we